Okay, so now that we have our metal determined for our volumetric weight, we want to make sure that it's dry before we weigh it. And when we weigh it, this is going to be done on a triple beam scale. If you have one of those pocket digital scales, super easy to use, just press a button, make sure it's tear, and make sure it's um, measuring in grams, not ounces or carats. Uh, you don't want to cast your weight in carats, that leads to trouble later on. So you want to make sure that your scale is zeroed, and that needs to index here at the zero marker, but also you want to make sure that when you bump it, it stays zeroed. And if it's not zeroed, there's a little knob on the back behind this plate, and you can turn it one way, and then it'll go below or above zero, and in order to go the other way, you just need to rotate it the opposite direction. So try clockwise, and if that doesn't work, try counterclockwise until you get closer to your zeroed range. Okay, so at this point, we're just below zero. We're gonna fine tune it. And once we're satisfied with our weight, what we're going to do is put all of the pieces of metal that volumetrically matched what we intended to cast. And then we're just going to inch along in units of 10 to determine how many grams are necessary to cast the element that we tested volumetrically. Okay, and it's always a good idea to make sure that you haven't gone over in your casting, right? So we're at 70, 80, 90, 100. So 100.5 grams. So what we're going to do is we're going to write that down on a piece of tape. So this is right our star stack. Medium. And then sterling silver, sterling, and we have 100.5 grams. Okay, so you want to take that and we're going to add that to our flask once we've sprued up our part and got it fully invested. But right now we're just documenting what we need to know for each piece that we're going to invest.